Hey there! Welcome to this Mometrics video on totalitarianism versus authoritarianism. We understand that distinguishing the two can be a little confusing. I want to try and help clear things up for you. Today, I will define totalitarianism and authoritarianism, then we will put them up against each other so we are able to see the difference more clearly. Let's start off by defining the two. First, authoritarianism. Authoritarianism is marked by submission to authority. It is the opposite of individualism and democracy. In an authoritarian government system, the political power is condensed into one authority figure or figures. Generally, they assume power and are not elected by the people. Their power is unrestrained and they answer to no one. Now, on to totalitarianism. A totalitarian government system is where the one in power or the ones in power see no limitation to their authority and seek to control every aspect of the public and private life in any way possible. So now let's compare the two. What's the difference between totalitarianism and authoritarianism? Okay, so totalitarianism is authoritarianism, and then some. In an authoritarian system, there are a few social and economical institutes that are outside of the government's control. So the authoritarian system wants full political power, but do not go beyond that. The totalitarian rule system, on the other hand, want power over everything everything. They seek power beyond governmental rule and begin to intrude into the ideology of everyone under their rule. One of the most familiar examples of a totalitarian rule was Adolf Hitler. He went beyond political rule and sought control over what people believed and even what race he thought that they should be. Another key difference is in the way that they execute their ruling. The authoritarian ruler is more focused on individual power, while the totalitarian ruler is more of a charming ideologist who claims to have the best interests of the people or the state in mind. I hope this was helpful in distinguishing the difference. Be sure to check out our other videos for any of your study questions. Until next time. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Bashim or Kakadash, Rakata, Wa, Rakadam, to the elect and one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone, Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing up this work with true sincerity. Also, Brakatha to the Akwafim who are listening as well. This is Province in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniela, and I want to bring out this class of this right here totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. Okay? Totalitarianism. As you've seen in the clip of, uh, of the young lady breaking down totalitarianism and also or, or authoritarianism, you know, she was telling the difference between the two, but they were much similar to each other, you know, and pretty much totalitarianism, you know, is, uh, is literally manifesting through Babylon the Great, through America, as we as we see but as we see on the news and by the way of these articles you know these prophecies you know what I'm saying it's slowly uh, what's the word gradualism slowly but surely it's manifesting before our eyes and a lot of people can't see it yet okay so right now uh, right now we're going through the process of totalitarianism which is complete control over the citizens okay and I, and I have a you know a definition from the Britannica okay so I want to bring this out totalitarianism is a form of government that attempts to assert total control over the lives of its citizens it is characterized by strong central rule that attempts to control and direct all aspects of individual life through coercion coercion and repression all right and if you go into the word coercion all right it means the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats 
okay? And as we see it now, during this pandemic, they're forcing these what? Vials towards the people, you know? And those who took those vials, okay? Those who took it, now they completely, you know? And by the way, this uh, broadcasting um, media, they're demonizing the ones who have not took the vials. So therefore, it's a war between those who took it and those who didn't. History repeats itself, always. So therefore, it's going to be a point to where those who didn't take it are going to be forced to take it. By the way of what? Coercion. Okay? The practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats. Coercion. C-O-E-R-C-I-O-N. Coercion. Okay? That is a part of totalitarianism. Okay? These these elites, you know, the so-called white man wants to have full control of every single soul here in this world. Not only not only in the United States, but all over the world. They want complete control. Okay? And I wanted to break break down those two words, authoritarianism and totalitarianism. Even though she wrote those down, I want to break them down within this class. Okay? So pretty much, um, you know, make it simple. You know, totalitarianism is authoritarianism. Authoritarianism wants full political power or power okay nothing more totalitarianism wants power over everything power beyond government rule okay so pretty much that's what Esau wants he wants he wants to be a uh, he wants to be on the God seat he wants full control of every single person here on earth by the way of Everyone taking these vials and also receiving the CHIP. All right, the RFID CHIP. Okay, or MICO MICRO CHIP. Okay, he's gonna push that very, very, very hard, you know, but he's not gonna force it onto people but he's going to persuade people he's going to make it to where he's going to make draconian laws all right and draconian laws was originated from the athenian laws okay the athenian laws is um was originated from athens greece which is the grecians okay from the grecian captivity all right so the grecians make these draconian laws you know, which was passed on later on, you know, by, um, you know, like by the other Edomite empires from the Grecian to the Roman and today's new Roman empire. Okay. The beast system. All right. Um, NATO, EU, and the Roman empire. That is the beast system and the image of the beast of the totalitarianism is the new world order okay so they're gonna have so they're gonna go all out very soon and we're we are in the month of august so anything can happen in the month of august all right anything can happen in the month of august a lot of things supposed to be happening between august and all the way to the winter okay now, I believe this winter is going to be a very dark winter this time. Last year, it was just a test run, you know what I'm saying, of, you know, you know Biden mentioning uh, a, a, a dark winter. But, you know, the dark winter was not applied um, within that time. But I believe this winter that, that's coming up, you know what I'm saying, in 2022, you know, it's gonna be a very, very dark winter for most people. Most people who, who do, um, who's not willing to submit to the beast. 
okay so the elect would not submit to the beast the elect would not follow the ways of America the elect will overcome everything the old um the elect will overcome all the wickedness all the um the great perils and tribulations that's about to come here in Babylon the Great it's going to be a very um it's going to be a very uh like difficult time it's going to be a time like never before according to Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 Jacob's trouble Ezekiel 75 an evil and only evil shall come so it's going to be straight evil out here we're going to witness things that's beyond our imagination and we need Yahweh and we need Yahweh more than ever it's the greatest time to seek the Lord now it's the greatest time to repent now and to grow in grace Okay, because they're fin because they finna push um, on totalitarianism at a very high level this year. Okay, they're gonna force citizens to do um, like um, like to do uh, you know unrighteous things. You know, things that that are against the Lord. You know. Like what I brought out in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1, woe to them that, that decree unrighteous decrees. Alright? Unlawful laws, man. Uh, like, like, like things that are unlawful. You know? Wicked, wicked laws. Draconian laws. Okay? And I found uh, this on, um, on Wiki, um, on Wikipedia. Uh, someone asked, what are the seven traits of totalitarianism? All right, and it says total, um, totalitarian regimes are often characterized um, total, totalitarianism. Sorry, totalitarian regimes are often characterized by um, extens uh, extensive political repression, a complete lack of democracy, widespread personality cultism, with which there's a lot of cults here. And the main of and the main cults here are religion, you know, Christianity, Catholic Church, so on and so forth. All right, absolute control over the economy, massive censor, um, massive censorship, massive censorship. Okay, and that's a lot of censorship going on on social media. You know, people are exposing, uh, you know, like. Um, like exposing uh you know like false history and you know um, they found out uh what the you know government's doing and the and the politics are doing towards the people you know what kind of poisons that they put in our food you know they put in massive censorship on the social media or you know the platform YouTube which is very huge on that there's a lot of censorship on there. The you know, things that you saw before, five, ten years ago, is nowhere to be found now, because they censored it. Okay. But all the things that you know that were exposed, you know, you know Hollywood and you know um, certain um, um, elite banking families, you know, you know um, celebrities doing all kinds of crazy stuff um, to like to the youth. It's nowhere to be found on YouTube, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the traits of totalitarianism. It's massive censorship, all right? Another one is mass surveillance, all right? You know, they have cameras on our, on, you know, like the cameras on our phones. They watch us through our, um, like they watch us through the cameras, through our phones, laptops, you know? Like they hear our conversations through the, um, like the microphone through our phones, you know, cameras in the streets, etc., etc. It's gonna, it's gonna be to a point where it's gonna be cameras everywhere. It's gonna be drones, you know, and you know, and then um, and also like uh, like the grand finale is when they try to implant, uh, you know, the chip within your brain 
oil oil within your hand like uh, to put the cherry on top so therefore they want to have complete com like complete surveillance massive censorship and to have complete control over you and everyone around you that is not the life that I want to live no other brothers that want uh, or no other brothers and sisters want to live that right there is scary man I hate my life right now being a slave going to work punching in you know working extremely hard for crumbs and then watch those crumbs go to bills you know that's not life man how much more when they want to have complete control over you you know that's that's not that's not life I would not want to live that kind of life I would like you know I would rather just go through the motions you know what I'm saying you know living in the streets you know, you know like being a pilgrim or even being a martyr of this truth man it's not worth living that kind of life man I'm telling you that's not life don't let fear don't let like the fear of this system you know you know like don't let fear get you away from salvation right now you have a chance of salvation don't let these Edomites tell you otherwise okay don't let, don't let these Edomites convince you to take this or take that you better fight back man you let let the Lord fight for you all right our battle um um like our battle is spiritual not carnal so let the Lord fight for you right now you stand up for the Lord you defend the uh, gospel you teach and you edify the elect and let the Lord do the rest and I was watching a class about that with Elder Apostle Ramla you know he said all you gotta do is teach and let the Lord do the rest let the Lord do the sealing all you gotta do is teach you know teach and edify the sheep and let the Lord do the sealing let the Lord do the vengeance okay so it's gonna be very very heavy draconian laws and anything can happen at any moment okay the vibration is anyone who did not take the vial will be forced to take it coercion okay coercion the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats so sooner or later they're gonna threat threat a lot of people who did not take that vial so be ready Akim wa Akwaf Akim wa Akwafim brothers and sisters be ready be circumspect consider um you know like consider all circumstances and also consider the Lord okay make sure you make sure you, you're trying to offend the Lord less each and every single day and be on the Lord's good side find ways to please the Lord so the Lord can put a hedge around you in these times okay so we're about to reach into an uh, into a more stricter system of totalitarianism of draconian laws and if you go into the word draconian it means of laws of their application excessively harsh and severe so it's going to be very severe laws coming out soon and there's, and there's nothing you can do about it and that's the way the Lord set it up the Lord like the Lord Yahweh is in control of all things so you know be mindful of what you're doing and, and know and know what power that you are serving because he is the great and terrible power okay he's control of all things 
And once you have that knowledge that he's in control of all things, then you will learn the true fear of the Lord. You will learn to fear the Lord and not fear man. All right. The Lord is of omnipotency. He, he is unlimited power. Remember, he's in control of all things. The, the, the right hand side and the left hand side. The right hand side is Jehoshua and the angels. And the left hand side is, is, is spiritual Satan. The, the spiritual demon Satan. You know, Esau, Edom. And these demons. Okay? So, I hope this class was edifying to the elect. This was edifying to you, it's edifying to the elect. Till next time I say, Shalom.